with the Node Red user dashboard, we do have some options for customizing the coloring. So let's have a quick look at what it looks like now. We've got this dark green and this black background with white text. And there's that green again for the menu headings. So if we go over here under the dashboard tab and then under theme, we could make a few changes. So here we could choose between three different themes, light, dark, or custom. So let's have a look at the, the light one. We'll deploy that. And you can see it changes to a different group of colors with white, a little less white, somewhat gray, and this blue here. So going back, we could change the base color. So if we click on here, then the color picker for whatever computer you're working on, whatever operating system you're working on should pop up there. And then we could choose a different color if we want. So I don't know, we had green, let's make it blue. And then we could deploy that and see what that looks like. And our base color should change. So that's the title bar and the headings here. And if we choose custom under this style, then we have a lot more flexibility. We could not only change the base color, we could also change all of these settings as well. So you do have quite a bit of control over what colors are used on the user interface. And one last thing you could choose is what font is used. So you could pick a, a weird font if you want, or you could just default to whatever the system settings are on the user's computer. Then it'll just default. I'll go back and show you that. If you choose your system font, then it'll just default to whatever the browser chooses. All right, so that's how you could edit the colors and the font in the Node-RED user dashboard.